Welcome back to What Artie Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a WYSI 111 Model 5A. It's a tier 10 Chinese heavy tank modelled on the uh, T10 or uh, a bit like the uh, IS-2 and IS-3 combined. Well, sort of. It's got a 13 centimetre gun and it's located on the north spawn of Malinovka under the command of Jippy. And alongside him is an AMX 50B under the command of Price 9 of Otter. Game started. So, 490 Alpha. It's not a bad from uh, not a bad gun, not a bad tank actually. It's, it's a very good tank. And you can see Jiffy's got two marks of excellence on already. And a Hawk 30 has just decided to do a quick scouting run. And I think Jiffy's thought, well, maybe I could have a quick shot. Oh, it didn't work, unfortunately. But he is in that scouting bush. So I don't think it'll be very long before he's wiped out. In fact, actually, he's not in the scouting bush. He's actually lakeside. The Brigetto's in the scouting bush. So the reload is actually quite long, 12 seconds or so. <laughs> Jiffy's saying that to uh, Price 9 that he can get to the hill quickly. <laughs> and the AMX 50B is quite quick. It's also very lightly armoured, but it does have that four shot magazine and a 120mm gun doing 400 alpha from memory. Oh, we spotted somebody over there. And it was an EBR-75 who actually spotted us. Now the enemy does have an RT, it's an M53, M55. So we are going to come in for some RT shots. Okay, some Batmobile going down the hill. Oh, now that AMX-30 is still there. Now, where is he? Is he in that bush? Nope. Ah. Oh. It's the wheelie. Oh, it's close, but unfortunately he's put two shots into our Skoda. And he's killed him. In fact, actually, it was the bat chat on the enemy team who killed him. Okay, we're going to join Price 9 now and hit that 705. In fact, there's two 705s headed this way. Not just over the rise yet, but our RT's having a go at them. And we've got an FB3805, which is the British RT. Tier 9. It's a... Um, Tier 10 game on 357 matchup. This before the changes. This is a 1.4 client game. Not always a good idea to go south of the windmill here because um, if the the enemy RT actually can land around quite easily on somebody who's actually directly facing the windmill uh, or the south side of it. But if you can actually get to the north side where Price 9 is right now, you're actually fairly safe because you can pull back behind the windmill for cover. But uh, yeah, we're going to push because the enemy is not pushing and the Pachetto takes a round to start with. Now, Type 4 Heavy, we're loading the heat. Here we go. Fires one in, gets it through. 527, the good shot. High roll. We've just got the Capola to work with at the moment, but I think we're going to go for the flat sides of the turret. Yep. 488. Just a low roll, but not by much. Another round in. Beautiful, but it doesn't go through. How did that happen? It was perfectly aimed. That's better. 497, a high roll again. And this Type 4 is not getting many shots on uh, on Jiffy. But you look at the holes on him. <laughs> and another one in. He's a one shot, and he's gone. And it was Price 9 who got the kill. And that Progetto has put himself in a bit of a pickle now. He's committed himself. He took a round in the ass. Now we're going to go down and we're going to really ream the asses of these tanks. 
That 705 is not going to get away. And we've got the other one by the ass as well. He's a one shot. The other 705, well, he's trying to escape by going forwards. Not really going to help. First one's down. That 705's next. And he's now got about five tanks firing at him simultaneously. Going up between the tracks. Yep. Now one left and he's gone. So that was very good. But we are two tanks down on the enemy. Quite a lot of wreckage there. Our defender's low on hit points. It's quite sweet that he's standing point there, but oh yeah, the RT got him. That's predictable. When you've got low hit points like that, more than likely RT will focus on you because they'll say, ah, oh, well that's an easy kill. I can just get a shell near him to splash him to death. And he was seen, so he's decided to pull back, but RT will still be in reload at the moment. He's decided to turn round. Uh, the EBR's near our cap, and in fact, he just killed our Canonian Yoke Panzer. I'm sure they're trying to kill that EBR, but he is being a bit of a nuisance. Price 9's coming with us, so is the Object 257. We're leaving the hill by the other route, the other side. The enemy is probably going to be still taking defensive positions, thinking we're going to come down the hill the other side. But the moment they realise we're actually still in the north, then they might change their direction. Ah, uh -huh. they know where we are now. Oh, good hit! Price 9 got him as well. And we've got a 430 up on top of the hill. Hopefully Price 9 can get a shot into him. He's in reload. Oh, and he's gone. The M53, M55 got him. He managed to splash kill him. Okay, we've loaded a heat round to deal with the 430. Two five seven staying behind us in the woods. So if uh, if he gets past us, then two five seven's job will be to stop him getting any further. Not going to shoot at that. Not just yet. Nice clean shot. Yes, nice one. Five oh six, a high roll. Here he comes. Loaded. One into his engine bay, beautiful shot. But now we've got another one to deal with the Samu SM. And remember, he's got a five shot auto loader with a 100, 100 millimeter gun. We get one into him for 501, but we need two more shots to take him out. Standard AP should be enough for him because he's uh, very lightly armored. Yep, anywhere on his vehicle should be enough to punch straight through. In fact, we could just push him off the edge of the cliff, that'll kill him. He's going over, he's gone. And he's dead already. Dead before he hit the ground. And there Arty is scouting. Kudos to him because that it takes some doing. I've done it myself. Scouting an Arty. When he came north. And unfortunately it didn't work out for him. The 257 got him. But that means it's now 5 versus 3. There's their Pantera. We can get shots, we have to lean over the edge. Here we go. Ah, nicely done. He's loaded the standard AP now. The only target remaining is an ISU 152. And he's got enough hit points to spare, so he can take a shot and still survive. I didn't see where the EBR-75 got killed, but somebody got him. He 
It's going to be in these woods somewhere. He wasn't near the camp. The tortoise didn't find him. So any second now we're going to see him. There he is. One in. And he's now one shot. We can get him with the next round. Oh! <laughs> and he gets wiped out by the tortoise. So, good round there for Jiffy in the Wizzy 111 Model 58. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it was the first class tanker for Jiffy in the model, Wizzy 111 Model 5A. He got a, out of the minor medals, a fire for effect, a fighter badge, a spotter for getting at least 1,000 hit points of spotted damage, a, a hand of God and a bruiser. And out of the epic medals, he picked up the high caliber. He did the most damage in that battle overall. And his win rate for the game was 10,251. Now, let's have a look at team score. 7,458 hit points of damage. Next high score was the Tortoise with 3215. And after that, it was the M53, M55 and the enemy team with 2,800. Um, when it came to kills, again, it's uh, Jiffy with four. Um, the Tortoise managed to get three, so did the 257. And the M53, 55 and the enemy team as well with three kills. And when it came to base XP, well, he's got the top in all three columns, 1,212. But that wasn't enough for an ace tanker. And the reason is the Wizzy 111 Model 5A is played by a lot of people and played very well indeed. So the standards is incredibly high. Uh, 884 for the Tortoise, 880 for the Defender. And if we look down price nine, he was actually a little further down the table. Uh, 2,075 hit points of damage, 2 kills, and 761 hit uh, base XP. He fired 21 shells in that game, got 17 direct hits, 17 penetrations, and damage of 7,458 hit points, of which 463 were at more than 300 meters. So I think that was possibly the shot that was on the Pantera. He received six hits, none of them were penetrations, two non-penetrations, and five hits from splash damage, I'm afraid. And he spotted two enemy vehicles, damaged nine of the enemy, killed four of them, and did damage assistance of 1,592 hit points. I think some of that is spotting damage, actually. And on a premium count, he actually earned 72,000... 829 credits. Yes, I know it's in the wrong columns. This is the uh, replay error on the replay manager. And after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, he actually took away a loss of, I think that's 65,000. So you'll have to excuse me. Eyesight is not as good as it was when I was young. It's 65,605 credits that he lost. And he also picked up two bonds for the high caliber at tier 10. 1,212 XP. Plus 909 for completing the mission, took away 2,121 altogether. So a very solid game there, 7.5k damage. He did carry the team, so to speak, on that game. Uh, well, more than carry, so to speak, because, uh, yes, he more than doubled the next highest score on damage. Uh, and, yeah, solid game. It shows that the Wizzy 111 Model 5A is quite fun if you play it well. And Jiffy did play it well, and this was a good round. So... Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. We've got more Jiffy videos on the way. Some of them are really good, so you wouldn't want to miss them. Thanks for watching.